This was the number one song in America in 1912. I just returned from Europe, I see London and Harry. Hey, London, glad you be back home in Yankee land. Get back to the all USA, looks better now to me. It's a real place where the real folks understand. But still I often stop and think what would this country be If it weren't for men like Rosenstein and Hughes We'd surely have a kingdom, there'd be no democracy Thank you so much, good luck to you If it wasn't for the Irish and the Jews What would this great Yankee nation really, really ever do If it wasn't for a Levy I'm on a hater, not a you. Where would we get our policemen? Uncle Sam would have the blues. Without the Pats and Isidores, there'd be no big department stores. If it wasn't for the Irish and the Jews. It wasn't for the Irish and the Jews. Charlie Proman and his brother Dan, of course. And how often have you laughed at Louie Man? And Lou and Joe, who used to run the local music hall. And that one, they're clever, George M. Cohan. Dave Warfield, Ford, Peter Daly, Charlie Ross, and Andrew Mack. For years and years, they drove away the blues. Where would you get your actors from, I'd really like to know. If it wasn't for the Irish and the Jews, what would we do for amusement? There would be no place to go. Thank you, good luck to you. If it wasn't for the Schubert, Frank McKee and Marcus Wall, hey, and me and Billy Brady, ever side I mustn't lose. I once heard Dave Velasco say, you couldn't stage a play today if it wasn't for the Irish and the Jews. It wasn't for the Irish and the Jews. Talk about a combination. Eat my words and take a note. On St. Patrick's Day, Rosinski. Pins a shamrock on his toe. There's a sympathetic feeling between the blooms and macadoos. Why Tammany would surely fall, there wouldn't be a hole at all. It wasn't for the Irish and the Jews. It wasn't for the Irish and the Jews.